So Ben Affleck's Batman has been very polarizing. Um, I know people that are either all the way in or they're just out. You know, they don't want anything to do with it. I don't know many, I mean, I know a few, but I don't know many people that are kind of indifferent about it, you know, that say, you know, eh, we'll, we'll see. You know, I'm, I'm ready to be rubbed either way. Uh, most of my friends either say, no, he's definitely going to be the best um, live-action Batman we've ever had, or my other friends are say, you know, say to me, no, he's going to be terrible, I want nothing to do with this. Um, I'm actually more inclined uh, for the camp that says he's going to be terrific. I think he's going to be great. Now, if you don't, that's fine. Um, there are... Okay, first of all, I think he... I mean, I, I made a video. I think I talked about Ben Affleck and stuff and previous videos and stuff, but, you know, I'll kind of give it the once over. I think he looks the part. Uh, I think he looks, as far as aesthetically goes, I think he looks great. Uh, he looks just like Bruce Wayne, in my opinion. Some people say he's too baby-faced. I really don't think so. I mean, yeah, Ben Affleck maybe has, like, a little bit of a baby face, but I don't think it detracts from his character. I think I think when you see him as Bruce Wayne, he looks like Bruce Wayne, and he's really good at showing that face that, like... I mean, it's, it, it's something with the eyes. Like, he just does that blank stare where, you know, you just understand everything he's thinking about. That was what sold me. Um... A lot of people, when they saw the uh, extended Batman v Superman trailer, it was that scene where you see Batman grappling out of the way of the laser vision. Uh, that's great, but the scene that really sold me was um, where you see Bruce Wayne, one, run into the uh, catastrophe, you know, the Superman Zod fight, and then two, you just see him in the middle of, you know, the the um, catastrophe, and he's just looking up, and you see the stare, and you see the look on his face, and that's when I, un you know, I understood that he understands the character, um, and I think he's going to be terrific. Um, and then I think his costume looks the best we've seen live action yet. I think the costume looks um, terrific as well. Now, this video is about, um, I can't call him the perfect on-screen Batman just yet. Uh, because I think that <sighs> they haven't done my perfect Batman yet. Well, they have, you know, in the comics and the animated series, but they haven't done it, um, on live action yet. Uh, and, and for me, the only way I can call this the perfect on-screen Batman, the perfect live action on-screen Batman is... If it, first of all, everything else checks out, as I just said. But if they add this, then it, I'm sold. I'm completely sold. This Batman, I really want him to be, you know, the great detective. You know, the world's greatest detective in that a crime happens or a robbery or something. You know, one of the Joker's scheme, something. In Suicide Squad, even, you know, something, something happens. And Batman just shows up and he deduces everything before anyone can even put the pieces together. He already has it completely figured out uh, and he's on his way. Uh, that's the Batman, you know, I just want this Batman to, like, you know, he, he seems to know everything about everything. We kind of, I mean, um, Nolan's Batman was kind of, uh, you know, he was a decent detective, but he did a lot of, it seemed like he did of like, a lot of research, which Batman does research if he doesn't have the answers, but, um, and, and that, that was kind of, that Bruce Wayne was... He was a detective in a grounded sort of way, which I guess is works in his respective universe. I just want kind of the unrealistic, you know, just the comic book Batman that just knows everything. You know, he shows up in the scene, you know, he can pick up like a piece of, I don't know, wood on the ground or like, you know, a piece of concrete and he just deduces everything. He knows, you know, where it came from, you know, who touched it, etc., etc., et uh, stuff like that. Um... I think if we get that Batman, we could just get the Batman that's like a masterful detective, along with everything we've seen uh, Affleck demonstrate, I think he'll be great. I think he'll be the best on-screen Batman yet, you know, live action. And, um, I also want to see this Batman, um, demonstrate more... I mean, this, this won't really make or break for me, but I want to see him demonstrate more, like, fighting techniques, um... Because, you know, you, you we kind of have the way that superhero movies show fights and stuff, and I say, okay, well, this is just the way things are, you know, that's cool. Then we get movies like The Winter Soldier and stuff like that, and I say, wait, no, we can get really good choreographed superhero movies, 
in superhero fights. So let's, you know, I think Batman should be fighting something along the lines of that, you know, just demonstrating a lot of uh, crazy techniques. So that's another thing I want. I mean, I'm not going to be re really picky about that, but the detective thing, I really want to see Batman be. I really want him see. I really want to see him be that like masterful detective that just knows everything. Um, I think that's a really important part of Batman's character. And one last thing, I think a lot of people uh, say that th this Batman does or says a few things that are out of character, and maybe slightly, but I think that's kind of the point. Uh, I think that this Batman starts off in a particularly dark place. Um, I mean, we already know that one of the Robins was killed. Uh, you know, some people say that the Joker is Jason Todd. I'm not even going to entertain that idea uh, for a lot of reasons. Maybe in a future video, but not now. Anyway, uh, you know, Robin's gone, that's the point, and um, it's clear that this Batman, this is just, you know, this is kind of taking a cue from The Dark Knight Returns, among other places. You know, it's clear this Batman is very seasoned, and, you know, he's been around the block, and, you know, this is just after all the years of darkness and horrible, and I think that's kind of the point. I think he starts off in a really dark place, and Superman starts off in kind of, I think, based on what I've seen and based on Man of Steel, I think he starts off in kind of a naive place. You know, he he believes uh, certain things about the world and about, you know, just being able to save people. Like, I, I think he's very naive, whereas Batman isn't. Batman's too uh, seasoned. You know, he's too exposed, and I think they're going to almost kind of intermingle and, and Batman's going to teach Superman a thing or two and Superman's going to, you know, his naivete might rub off and his lightness might rub off on Batman. And I think by the end of the movie, you know, they'll be where they should be, respectively. Um, and I actually have a friend on YouTube, Goku48071, who agrees with me, or I agree with him. You know, we, we both kind of feel the same way. Uh, so, I... Um, that, that's just kind of where I'm at with Batman in regards to all of this, so, you know, we'll, we'll see as time uh, progresses and as we get, you know, more about Suicide Squad and, you know, we see this movie and stuff like that, but that's just kind of where I'm at with this Batman, so let me know what you guys think. Are you guys for or against Ben Affleck's Batman, and, you know, if you're against it, what would you change?